What's up everyone? Well, my name is Phil, down to Mob, and we're here in the stock Jeep Grand Cherokee today, and we're overlanding. We're gonna see today, can we overland in a stock vehicle? We're with my buddy John Burton, his fully built expedition vehicle that he lives full time in. So it's a good test if we can hang. Uh, we've got our fridge, we've got our shift pod, uh, we've got all sorts of things that I've accumulated over my couple years, four different rigs and all sorts of different setups. So let's check below for some links of some of my favorite gear that I'm using on this camping trip. I'll show you what I've thrown in here and uh, what's really helped me out to be prepared for a trip like this to beautiful Sedona, Arizona. I've put approximately 1,277 miles on this Jeep, putting it at 144,494 miles. So yeah, that's about where we're at. John Birch started up, let's start her up. He's leaving. Let's go. Oh man, I wish I could just listen to country with you guys, but it's copyright. So I'll just sing it for you. A blue Tacoma, California. Just kidding. Not gonna sing to you anymore. Kind of weird. So this area we're heading today is actually the very first spot we ever camped with Brian from Off Grid Backcountry Adventures. This thing's just stock suspension and we're keeping up with John just great. I mean, he does have a 12 and a half thousand pound truck and you know, we're 5,000 pounds at the most. But as far as being a stock vehicle, no worries so far. This is a super smooth fire road though. Uh, and we don't need high clearance or anything like that. But yeah, we're packed full of stuff and uh, it's just working good. We'll be able to set up a good camp with all this crap once we get there. <laughs> Way more people here than I thought. This spot's gonna have to do. Pretty beautiful view, those red and white big cliffs behind us, so can't complain. Well, that was quick. John's still getting situated and we got the pot up already and we'll just set up the cot and get all comfy. Oh yeah, we got some firewood too. Some mesquite. And the camp spot came with some firewood too. So we're good. We got propane. This is way too much propane, but it's all good. We got our cot here. We'll take that out and go set it up. And this is our toilet for now. Take care of our duties. And we got Crazy Beaver Shovel, custom powder coated orange. Thanks to Greg from Pack Racks. So we will leave that over here until we set up our little bathroom area. Probably over there. And these are all my clothes and blanket, pillow. Oh shoot, I didn't bring an extra pillow. I only have one pillow. I like to, I like a pillow to hug. That's okay. Um, also our Step 22 gear has been really handy to have for, you know, situations like this where crap is everywhere. Well, I know my camp kitchen is secure here in the Stingray flat box. And uh, so yeah, got everything here to make coffee and heat up burritos. And we first saw these things uh, at the beginning of the year in Goose Gear Brian's uh, 5010 camper. He's got a lot of these, so they're super cool. And I'm excited to integrate them into the Bison Overland camper as well. <laughs> And the hedgehog toiletry roll is pretty sweet too. Let's get that out. Let's get some lotions. Your standard toiletry stuff, some soaps. Comb in there. You know, for the beard. No big deal. Dang. The sunset is pretty epic. Just having some fun driving the uh, laser net car. We did some new graphics uh, down to Mob. UC Fab Sway Bar. 
She's pretty fun. <laughs> Code's, Code's got to stay in the car though. She runs after it. Oh, oh, oh. So I just drove that one handed like this and that was just a rock. No big deal. Dakota girl having her dinner. Oh, great sleep. Last night was super comfy in this cot. So we had the Wilderness Design quilt by uh, Prometheus Design Works, as long as, uh, as well as our climate, KSB zero, zero degree bag, 800 fill goose down. This thing alone is amazing. And then paired with the climate, zero degree bag. Um, this is a 650 down fill. And I mean, this stuff is just super, super comfy. I don't need a heater, like virtually ever anymore unless it's really snowy conditions um this mat so it's on a three inch better habitat memory foam i've slept on it almost nine ten months full time it's amazing um and then this is the teton sports xxl uh cot which is also nice and fairly easy to set up with this this is the last step and that rod kind of helps you get everything in place Clothes over there, food from Trader Joe's. Here, here, I'll let you out, Bubba's. She wants to go explore. Um, but it ended up working well. But yeah, let's check out the camp this morning. Numbered. These were so beautiful at sunset, these mountains. Weren't they, Bubba's? Go crazy. Go crazy. Come on, Coach. Go crazy. <laughs> what, do you want some food? We got food over here and water. Food? I like to keep her food just in a lunchbox. That way I open up and she can eat as much as she wants. She doesn't eat too much, so... And then little water bowls mean less water waste. Okay, here you go, Bubba's. Love this Lifesaver jerry can. So it's got a military grade water filter right in here and then a pump here. So everything's nice and filtered. Yeah, her friend's up. She's happy. Codes, come on, play with Yaki. We were just whining. He wasn't up. Now he's up. We'll make some coffee, eh? <laughs> So I've had this Coleman stove for about a decade. It's actually been in a rollover accident where one of my trailers, uh, adventure trailers, flipped end over end, and it survived. So for me, it's got some good vibes, that classic Coleman camp stove. I've got a Camp Chef. I kind of like the Camp Chef better, but 
I don't know, I feel like this one's good luck. <laughs> so we're just running it on a big 20 pound propane all the way up in there. Seems to really rip on that. Um, and the AeroPress is how I love to make coffee. It's uh, by far the best way, I think, to make coffee while camping. So you pour the water in there and press this thing on down and give it some time to brew. And then uh, we'll have some nice coffee to wake up to. Hey, Bubbies, what you doing? Sunbathing. Yeah, I've never really like sat right in front of my stove. It's kind of nice. Um, just kind of sit here and wait for coffee to be done. Well, thanks for joining us for this video. I think we figured out the answer is yes. Of course you can overland in a stock vehicle. You just gotta have some good gear to make you comfortable out there. So comment below and let me know what you thought and check out the description for some links to some of this gear below. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, smack that like button, turn that thumb blue. We're going to see you on the next episode where we talk about the shift pod, a whole one year review. And well, this truck doesn't quite start and we have a whole adventure just getting it out of here. So we'll see you then. The only question is, are you down to mob?